Oh man, I guess that's it. Let's see. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 90 of Low Tide, the official program for Rude Planet, and I'm your host, 90! Holy crap. Um, we are almost at 100. Almost at 100. And um, this is like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I wasn't even sure... If I was going to do an episode for Tuesday or not, mainly because like I've been, I've been, uh, I've been at that staring at the wall segment of creativity. I have no, I have no definite, uh, I have no definite ideas or uh, plot points. I've, I've been, you know, trying to get to write again. But, like, it's just been a blank wall. It's like, um, you know, it's like the, it's like I've achieved what you're supposed to do with meditation without, and it's annoying as fuck, because, like, I just can't get anything. It's like my, it's like, an, like my head's an empty bucket. And, like, um, I know it, I know that the ideas are, are coming. I get, like, these little notions that are, like, half sentences or half, you know, or, like, just a waft of ideas. And I'm just sitting there just staring at the wall. And, you know, so, like, these episodes come along and I, you know, suddenly have to stop what I'm doing. It's like, if I have to get an episode out for Tuesday, I have to film... To, uh, you know, in order to give me a, a way to uh, edit, I have to film. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, what the hell am I going to talk about? And, like, the, these shows are unscripted. I, I don't script it. I don't write things out. But, you know, like, if you were a little fly on the wall in my room, you'd be, sit, you'd, you'd be seeing me sitting at the edge of the bed, staring at the wall talking to myself, you know, hashing out, you know, like, what the fuck I'm going to say. So, like, the, even this part right here, you know, about sitting on the wall, you know, like, I've had a little conversation with myself about earlier. But, like, yeah, you know, it's like I wanted to, you know, one of the things I wanted to bring up is I'm going to be making some adjustments to the show this summer, mainly... Um, you know, doing the unboxing stuff is pretty cool, but like at the same time, uh, it is starting to, uh, I need to diversify. So like, mm, 
my my head is itching and I don't really want to I don't really want to do the whole monkey thing <laughs> for the episode, so I'm just like, ee. But like, um, I had, uh, I need to diversify. So like, I'm going to be switching things up. Yeah, these, these gloves are done, dude. <laughs> these gloves are done. Anyway, I need to diversify a little bit. So like, the uh, way low tide will be handled during the summer will be a little bit different, um, but I think it'll I think it'll work out in the end, and I think maybe we'll get some interesting ideas uh, along the way. But like, what the hell am I going to talk about? You know, it's like I haven't watched any movies or whatever, and that's one of the things that you know I'm going to be doing a lot more of just simply for the show. I'm going to be it'll be like film school all over again. You know, it's like. I got to watch a movie for homework. I got to watch a movie for my fans. Uh, you know, it's like I was thinking, what am I going to do? And it's like I've just been letting Hulu on repeat. And like, I guess like the most I can talk about tonight is like the commercials. I know I'm not going to pay more for Hulu without commercials. They're trying. They're trying. It's like their advertising department has, you know, like... Uh, went out to all the agencies and be like, send us the worst shit that you have. Because, like, um, they keep playing that James Corden Keurig commercial. It's one of the most obnoxious commercials I've seen in a while. And then the other one is that uh, Grubhub commercial where these animated people are gyrating over food it's disgusting man uh, it's i'm like so fucking annoyed and you know i have my degree is in broadcasting and uh you know so like and part of that degree was you know like studying advertising and shit and i gotta tell you like those two commercials alone you know are some of the worst i've ever seen <laughs> And now, like, they've added that trailer to Corella on, uh, uh, they've added that, that trailer to Corella in the, in the whole mix, you know, so, like, it's like Disney's farming out their internet, inter intellectual property for, you know, edgy Joker-like entertainment. What the hell am I talking about? It's three o'clock in the morning, as I said, I should be in bed. Anyway, uh, let's take a break. Open up Budweiser and pour yourself the most inviting glass of beer you've ever tasted. Sure. Cold, golden Budweiser with that good taste for good times. So go ahead, live life every golden minute of it. Enjoy Budweiser, every golden drop of it. Budweiser beer is for folks who know where there's life. So for today's episode, I'm actually going to film a couple different episodes tonight, but like for day, for today's, I'm finally back. When I say I go, I'm going back to the well, there's two boxes I'm talking about, Silverback and Sell My Comic Books. And Sell My Comic Books have come out with their newest box. They've raised the price a little bit. It used to be $30 ship, now it's $35 ship. But I don't care, because like you never know what you're going to get out of these. And these, you know, really brighten my day. Um, between Silverback and these guys, it, it's just, you know, a pleasure. So, like, this is their third round of boxes. And, like, there are some grand prizes or whatever, but, like, it doesn't really matter if you get a grand prize or not, because, like, you just, you can't tell what they're going to have. They just have, like, 
wonderful, wonderful stuff. And it's not any of that MMB shit. It is absolutely just uh, uh, unpredictable stuff. So let's uh, get the thumbnail out of the way. So, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I think there are 10 boxes in here. 10, 10 boxes. I got 10 books in here. Um, this is the box that uh, Brock, Brock Morgan and I have a little bit of a rivalry over. You know, we've been throwing barbs at each other a little bit over these boxes. So, Brock, you've been served. Anyway, I have no idea. Of course, I, you will not know what are in these boxes. These are completely unique every time. So what do we got here? I bagged and boarded this time. No wonder they've gone up in price a little bit. Um, it used to be so they weren't bagged and boarded, but like now they're bagged and boarded. So like that, you know, I've complained about it enough that I did get like a message from them. They're like, yeah, hey, we'll, we'll, you know, I'll pass the word about your complaints about bag and board. It's not really a genuine complaint, but I do, you know, having to sit down and bag and board stuff sometimes is a little bit tedious, but I don't really care. These, the books you get out of these things are fantastic. So, um, so, Strictly limited to 100 boxes, so there's only 100 boxes this time. 10 randomly selected curated Bronze Age comic books per box. Just Bronze Age. Uh-oh. Uh, surprise key issues. 1 in 10 boxes contain a bonus 11th key. Um, grand prize. 1 in 100 chance. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. So bronze a bronze age, huh? I love bronze age books. This, the, you know, among my favorite. But like, you've gotten silver age books and all sorts of shit in these boxes before. So, hope they didn't mess with the formula too much. Um. <laughs> I can't figure out how to open this thing. Come on, Matt. Don't be such a puss. Don't be such a puss, Matt. Here we go. Okay. Need to get that itch. Okay. So let's see. Right off the bat, we have we get the good shit. We got Tomb of Dracula number 34. I had such a huge collection of Tomb of Dracula and Werewolf by Night back in the day. You know, if I could go back and get my collection, I would, because like this stuff is hard to get now. This is this is always some of the greatest stuff. I'm gonna do a Tomb of Dracula episode here this summer. We'll just we'll just see where that goes. And so now we have we have Flash number 246. 246. Look at this cover, man. That's awesome. Look at that. I'll take that all day long. I'll take that all day long. Yeah. Ooh. You know, I just got my silverback box, and I got Phantom Stranger number one out of it. I know I got other, more Phantom Stranger stuff here, but like, here we got Phantom Stranger number 30. So, I need to do something about that. Yeah, I, I might as well. I, I'll, I'll talk more about that later, but what we have here? Tiger Man. 
I love these Atlas comics, man. Atlas Comics, Tiger Man number three. There you go, look at that. Love that. Look at his face. So, there we go. And then, uh, Howard the Duck number eight. Yes, man, look at that. That's a great cover. And then, oh yeah, I love it when they used to make, they used to do like comic book adaptations of everything back in the day. Peter Benchley, uh, the Peter Benchley uh, movie, The Deep, based off the book, it's really good. I need to watch that again. It's like The Deep, number one, is based off that uh, uh, movie and the uh, book. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, The Deep was great. I need to watch that again. The Marvel premiere featuring the torpedo. Marvel premiere number 39. Look at that. So, yeah, this is all Bronze Age stuff. I miss the Silver Age, man. The, okay, you get the, uh, we got the bags and boards going on again, but like bring back the silver. Bring, bring back to all those romance books and shit. I love that stuff. And then, uh, Black Panther number six. Trap with the, uh, with Mr. Little in the City of the Samurai. Look at that. That's awesome. That's awesome. We got a Charlton comics. I love Charlton. All new haunted. Look at this cover. Look at that cover, man. Look at this. It's like an old pulp magazine or like in a gold key comic or something. So, yeah, man, I'll take that all day long. And then finally, yeah, we got some gold key goodness here. Goodness. I'm not going to you start using that. Everybody else. So we got some gold key bullshit here. <laughs> True ghost stories, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, I love it. Yes, I love the bags and boards. I love the, uh, that they're in bags and boards. Um, bring back the Silver Age stuff, too. Okay, so, yeah, th this is a great box. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. Um, all stuff that I would buy for myself. What I will say is I do miss the... Uh, I do miss the... Uh, Silver Age stuff. So I got another. I got another one here in the garage. So um, I got another one here in the garage, and I'll probably do that for next week because like these these boxes get me all hot and bothered. But anyway, that's that. That is episode ninety in the can. So anyway, um, May giveaway is still ongoing. If you want to participate in the May giveaway, you need to be subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment on a May video. Be a U.S. resident. For May, I'm giving away... Something is Killing the Children. Number one, the foil variant. And I'll be giving that away at the end of this month. So if you want to uh, be involved, please comment and subscribe. And you'll be in, dude. And then um, I'm also still giving away... and still doing the push for 500 subscribers. Once that goes in, I'll be giving away... Amazing Spider-Man number 55, the Virgin variant, signed by Patrick Gleason. And I know a lot of you like that cover, so it's it'll be yours at the end of 500 subscribers. So that's another episode in the can. We actually got through this tonight. Okay, um, yeah, so... I'm gonna wrap up. Uh, I'm gonna do the unboxing portion for Friday's episode and get that out of the way. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, uh, sell my comic books in the description. And um, yeah, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. I guess that's it. I will be back on Friday. I'll film this here in a minute. And then, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.